Good morning everybody, it's Saturday and yesterday we did a kind of team Zalfie which is lots of the people that we work with, um, both Alfie and myself and then people that we jointly work with. Um, we did like a huge kind of summer housewarming like we appreciate you party um kind of similar to the one we did at christmas that time you might have seen it in vlogmas and it was so much fun like honestly it was just one of my favorite days so far this year it was sports day themed so we had things like blindfolded um wheelbarrow obstacle courses and we had one team which was my team and then we had one team which was alfie's team and we picked names out of a hat so it was very mixed and like a really good way of everyone kind of coming together and kind of i don't know it was just it was so nice this is the like remnants <laughs> this is after we've cleared it up this morning but we rented another stretch tent we got a bigger one of these when we had our friends and family over for the housewarming um, but we thought it would be nice to have a smaller one because there wasn't as many of us and we had a bar and we had like sports day cocktails like themed cocktails like one of the cocktails was actually in a like sack like a sack race cocktail it was amazing it was a really really fun day and i haven't done things like that since like honestly i think since i was actually in school so i must have been well i didn't really do sports day in secondary school i'm not gonna lie our tutor group was awful because none of us wanted to do it um there was always a very like sporty tutor groups that would get really involved in sports day and ours just we never did. In fact, I think I did a couple of sprints and that was it. But the last time I properly did sports day, I was probably like 10, 11. So it's been a very, very long time, but I think everyone had an amazing day and it was a real success. Um, we had somebody that cooked a meal for us. So we had our dinner out here. There's like also this like cute little area where we sat and had like canapes and drinks. Alfie and Sean got this fire pit out last night, but we didn't actually use it. So we've just got that there. Um, this was the board, the Team Zalfi Sports Day board, and on the other side, you can see who won. <laughs> Team Alfie won the three-legged egg and spoon. We won the tights on the head game. Oh my god, that game was amazing. Sack race, Alfie's team won. Donut hoopla, Alfie's team got 200 and we got 135. Wheelbarrow race, we won. Rounders, they smashed rounders. Like they lost count of how many points they got, which really tipped them over the edge. And then we did a Zalfi quiz where Alfie's team got 600 and mine team got 1,200. So in the end, Alfie won and our team came second but the quiz was so funny it was all questions about like me and Alfie like how many times did I take my driving test whose childhood teddy is whose overall it was just one of the best days and I really hope everyone had a good time I think they did we went to bed really late last night um and then woke up really early this morning because we needed to clear the kitchen was an absolute state like out here was an absolute state so me and Alfie have been like running around this morning like headless chickens trying to tidy up because this weekend we have Tanya and Jim coming to stay they haven't actually properly stayed at this house yet so this is like their first time like really experiencing the house I think I'm really really excited for them to come I've actually had a really bad headache this morning I've just taken some tablets so they should be arriving in around 45 minutes and uh we are going to go gun to go we are going to go pumpkin picking with tanya g and poppy and sean and i am so excited because we went last year you may have seen my blog post but we actually went too late there was no pumpkins to pick it was just all the ones that had already been picked and the season had kind of gone so we managed to get a few little squashes which actually they're my favorite thing to get anyway but we didn't manage to actually cut off any giant like carving pumpkins so hopefully when we go there's going to be a few more in the field i think i went a bit overboard on the treats <laughs> Just slightly. I got bit. I got carried away online shopping. This isn't all for like this weekend. It's just for, for us to like just nibble on. Today. It's just for today. But look, they have all their like Halloween-y treats. I did get some festive friends, but only because they're delicious. And some treeslets. These looked so good. White chocolate coated biscuit balls. Yum. These are always amazing. Gory and grizzly chocolate pumpkins. And then look, they had these. Goosed. Goosed eggs. 
So I've got some of those Terry's chocolate orange because you can never go fruits, wrong. Goose eggs. Mm. Bit of a weird trip. No, no, look. Yeah, no, I'm joking. Goosed. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're like um, cream eggs, but like ghost eggs. Uh, and then, look at these, Haribo. Haribo Scare Mix. Oh, I just got carried away, guys. You know what I get like. Sour Stripes, I just like the sound of those. Pumpkin Patch Cakes. Yes. Maryland Cookie Bites. Mini Cheddars. Snowy Fingers. And a little ginger sponge pudding, because it just sounded really good. I'm just now trying to edit the vlog from Alfie's birthday, because I completely forgot this week that I needed to edit that. <laughs> so I was like, I need to do that today so I can put it up later. Your feet look good. Oh yeah, they do, don't they? I'm so stylish. These are Alfie's sliders. So I just put them on so I could show them everything outside. Pumpkin picking, Tanya and Jim coming to stay. Festive time, treats. It's all happening. Picking. This time we're what? We're not warty dick picking. Warty dick picking? Out of all the ones that were left there. look like warty dick. There was no pumpkins left last time, so they were just like, all like penis shapes. They were like, what are they called? Like mallows or something? No, it was all the, oh, there was marrows and like squashes. Yeah, and no like, pumpkins, Yeah, they? but I like the squashes. I think they're really autumnal. We'll see what we can get, but we should probably take, do you have a little pen knife or anything? Because to cut the pumpkins off, you need to take your own knife. Of course I've got that. Okay. Look who's here! Hi! It's done! And Poppy and Sean as well, they've just got out of the car there. Look how they're filthy these sunglasses, they've got hairs and all sorts on them. My Ray-Bans look a lot like that. It's always the ones that you use and love the most. Yeah. I find. What are we can do about food? Are oh, I need to reapply. Re it looks so pretty, the colour that, that fades to, though, that lipstick, doesn't it? I didn't bring my sunglasses. Oh god, you're screwed. You're gonna get so watery eyes. Oh. <laughs> right, let's go and pick some pumpkins. I'm so excited about this, and we have like the best weather for it. Yep, I'm screwed. Halloween pumpkins. Bury me in it, and then go, this is the one, I jump out. <laughs> Right, Jim's here too, everyone. Hi. I'm legit in a bush. I'm playing pumpkin drums. Jim's playing pumpkin drums, but also, Jim, I think I found you. Oh, oh, not that one. <laughs> I think I found your your perfect pumpkin. It's look at the size of that one. Oh, hello, big boy. Yeah. Oh, it smells, it's Jim. Can tall, you smell like... it? Yeah, it's quite a tall one as well, isn't it? It's a very Jim pumpkin, like long and long and slim. <laughs> That's the one, Jim. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and find a massive one. I'm oh yeah, we need to go and like and rip it, it off the vine. Yeah. Is it is it on a vine? I don't actually know. <laughs> Tan's like, do they grow in the ground or <laughs> on the ground? They grow above the ground. No, but they kind of just sit there like half in, half out. No, no, no that's what they've got the thing on the top that connects it to like the little. So it grows out and then it just sits like on the ground. So like, the stalk comes from underneath. Yeah, well, well it, it grows it, up it and then out. No, does it? What, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You'll soon see. <laughs> so these are the marrows and the runner beans. Poppy, do you want to do something funny? <laughs> when me and Poppy came in, I was like, oh my god, Poppy chestnuts, I can't wait. And she went, she went, oh, I love chestnuts. And then she's like, where are they? And I was like, oh, don't worry, I don't think they're on there. And she's like, no, where? And I was like, it said check out. And I thought, <laughs> Jim, go through there. Sorry. You never know where you might end up. <laughs> <laughs> and we never saw him again. Where are you, Jim? What can you see? The upside down. The upside down! Oh, go on, Tan, into the upside down. Watch out, Tan. Is it raspberries? Raspberries over there, Sean. I'm, going. I'm hungry. We're currently in the butternut squash area. <laughs> we found one butternut squash. What's wrong, Tan? Do you know what we do? Sometimes we're What did you do. say? Tan goes, just to herself. Think, like staring at his face, mm, I like being in the field. Is that what he said? <laughs> Sometimes when we're driving, Tan asks me to pull over so she can go running in fields. Oh, yeah. It's like a phone. Oh, oh. Hello. It looks like a giant cashew nut. <laughs> it does! <laughs> Jim, go oh my god. Like cashew. Hold on, <laughs> is the cashew nut big or are you small? <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's a big nut. <laughs> we're at the pumpkins. Blue pumpkins. Look at all the blue ones. You can see them at the, the back. Zombie the zombie pumpkins. And then there's just like one little pumpkin up there. Look at the orange ones. There's so many. Sean and Jim have found big ones. Let me see. Oh my God. That's so good, Sean. 
Did you cut that one off? Hold this. It's so heavy. Hold it, go on. Be, be okay. No, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to bring it back on that tractor. Yeah, for sure. That is so heavy. Look, Jim's got loads of big These ones. These ones are huge. Look, that one looks good. Guys, these ones. Go and get that, Zoe. You got this. You're going at quite like the thick bit as well. You got it. I don't know if I'm going to Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Roll it out. Thornbush. I can't. Kick it out yeah. softly. Um, what are we doing with it? I've got one, Jim, but I can't get it out. Can you help? Yeah, it's very heavy and spicy. There we go. Yeah, pull it from that. Oh no. Is it? Wait. <laughs> Ow, my foot. I think I might get him too. Yeah, he's nice. Bye. It's proper. I mean, we have picked the one in the thorn bush. Or the pumpkin bush. Yes, you got it. Uh oh. I squashed the slug on my feet. Oh my god. That is proper squish. What did you do? Oh my god. That, that is. We found another one that looks good. To be honest, we do need a couple because we're going to put them on the stairs. We need them on the stairs outside the house. Yeah. yeah. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yes. Oh. Right. Are you ready to see what it looks like? Yeah. Oh, I like that one. Yay, that's sick. Is that good? Yeah. That's a good one. That's yeah, a good that one. Boy. Do you not jump on your head? Yeah. yeah. Jim's like, okay, that's enough, Tan. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not damaged. Alfie's like acting like it's his baby. He looks really like annoying. He's like, that's our pumpkin. <laughs> that's our pumpkin tar. It's, it's not damaged though, is it? We've managed to get our pumpkins to here, but they're very heavy, aren't they? Very, very heavy, heavy pumpkins. Extremely. The boys have rolled them, and then we're going to come back for them, and then I think we should probably get on the tractor to get back. Absolutely. Yeah. I think definitely. Yeah. We're now in the raspberries. But it is hot. <laughs> so hot. We're like picking pumpkins for autumn and it's actually a really sunny day. I think maybe raspberry season is just about out. But we're trying to find the little squashes, you know, the ones that look like baby pumpkins with like loads of different colours in. We can't seem to find any. I don't know where those would be. I think maybe we just went past them. Tan's being naughty and eating them. <laughs> you are a rebel, Tanya Burr. What if you go to jail for eating raspberries? Uh, pick your own. <laughs> Outrageous. Got the boys carrying, carrying the pumpkins. <laughs> Yay! Look at them all in a line, all on your shoulders. We didn't quite think it through, so we found the biggest pumpkins we could find and then realised we still have to walk back to the car. The woman. Yeah, the woman did say on our way in, this lady had this massive one. She was like, oh, the walk back to the car wasn't fun. And we were like, ha ha ha. And now the boys are all walking the pumpkins. You know what? What? I'm going to say to someone else, by the way, guys, the walk back wasn't fun. They're going to go, ha ha ha. Yeah, I know. And then, know, the and then they're going to do it. I can't lift my arm, by the way. This, this, this filming angle is probably not the most flattering, but I can't lift my arm because I've got a squash on it. Poppy and Tana are in the squash field, which is what I wanted to find, the little decorative squashes. So I'm gonna head down there now. These are so cute. These are my favorite. Like, this one's a good one. Oh, cute. Looking up. Look, there's loads in this bit. I feel like everyone might be waiting for me though, so I need to be quick. We're guessing the weight of the biggest pumpkin, which is Jim's. What do you reckon? I think it's lighter than we think. I just think it's an awkward shape. So I'm going to say 19. 19 pounds? 19 kilograms. Kilograms. Just ignore it. <laughs> 
What do you think, T? Lift and guess. Can we guess in kilograms? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. Okay, so Jim's saying nineteen. Tan's saying twenty. Alf. What the biggest one? Yeah, the biggest one. I reckon the one. above twenty. You think over twenty? Like 21. what? Twenty-one. Okay. Or twenty point five. Twenty-two point three. Twenty-two. I'm gonna go seventeen. Seventeen. Oh, okay. Zoe. I think twenty-four. I'm gonna go the height, the heaviest. Forty-four pounds, twenty kilos. Oh, it's like twenty kilos. Twenty, kilos. 20, 20, 20 tarn, you won. Oh, you were right. You were right. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> Joe, what the hell is on your t-shirt? That's Josh Peters, that is. Josh Peters. But do you know how weird it looks when it's all squashed up? This face looks weird anyway. Look. It's not squashed. It's unsquashed. It's his face. No, but when you were sat down, so sit how you like that. <laughs> like oh, that is... Wait, hold on. Oh my god. There you go. Um, Joe's here, by the way. Yeah, no, really? Because I've got a book signing tomorrow in Brighton, and I thought, oh, I know some people live in Brighton. <laughs> so I hit a poppy and Sean, they didn't answer my call, so that's coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sean. Sure. No, I was busy. Trying to go to the fence. I was busy. Have you got Winnie the Pooh socks on? Yes, I have. Your style today is... <laughs> We've knocked up a little... What would you call this? Random selection of afternoon snacks. snacks. <laughs> so we've got some French stick, and yes, you guessed right, we're putting some camembert in here. We've got some fruit. These raspberries look a bit. A bit of dying. Yeah. <laughs> um, things to dip in the camembert, and then Poppy's made these with um, salmon and cream cheese on Rivita. Mm. We've got some hummus and just general great snacks. No. Look at this spread. Look at that. Look at it. Oh. Oh. oh it's going to go soon. This is fun. Oh, oh damn. damn. Serious. I don't think it's like anything yet. Oh. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, look at that dent. <laughs> it's so tense. Poppy, your oh, turn. Two. No, go on, Pop. Go on. <laughs> don't, you shouldn't touch it because it will pop. Yeah, you shouldn't. One, two. Oh. oh. So she mess around, does she? <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh, there's always one. Three. Three. Oh, this one, this one. Yeah, one of the top ones. Really? One. one. Oh, no, that wasn't one yet. That's not one. That's one. one. <laughs> I going to go. Two. I just pushed three. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just pushed three. Three. What was that? Two. What are you going to let me One. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Uh. <laughs> Tom's face. Three. Three. <laughs> You're like a little rabbit. You're like. Oh, are these like special boots? Five. Come on. One. One. Yes. There's only one to three. Oh, okay. Your hair looks nice. Do you want a boot? Do you Thank want a boot, you. Special right? balloon outfit. No, they're normal, yeah. I think. No, they're like stretchy ones. <laughs> oh. One. Get, one. Close up. Ready? Go. One. Yeah. Tanya's go. Tan, you got this. Oh god, I just got a strong arm in there. I can't cross my legs on here, so I'm going to get really good at the same stretch. That's a bad thing. Roll again. Oh! 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 Strip on. I'll give you two guesses what we're watching. We've been playing games, everyone's had a bite to eat. I just went upstairs and had a little chill out because I had a really bad headache. But um, I couldn't miss out on everyone watching this. <laughs> Naked attraction. Oh, am I allowed to show Willies on my channel? Guys, I'm not allowed, am I? No. Have you what watched it? You've not watched this before, yeah. have you? No, I've never seen it. Have you never seen it either, Jim? No, it's my favourite show now. <laughs> I knew I you'd love it. Jim, you know, you know, you you her her when she rejects him, she has to. He has to come out and hug her, and he's fully naked. Yeah. And hugging. Yellow's the best. Yellow's the best. Look at Joe. Yellow's the best. Joe, I feel like you might have the best seat of the house yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, and. 
We've all had quite the lion. In fact, I've had to just go in and wake Joe up and it is, what's the time? 10.55. Outside, we've got Jim doing a workout <laughs> and Alfie chilling on the sofa with Nala. <laughs> Look at him go. Yes, Jim, go on. You got this. Hello. <laughs> and I am going to do the breakfast that I did when my family came down. So the poached eggs on the toast with the tomatoes. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado as well, just to kind of spice things up a little bit. My headache did go. I think I just needed to sleep it off, um, but I woke up this morning feeling so much better. So thank heavens. And I don't know what our plans are today, but I think we're just gonna be chill and see, see what happens. Breakfast is served. And you're like under a tree. Yay. Delish. We've got a little bit of avo as well. Got some extras. Are you enjoying it? Very much. It's so nice. <laughs> it kind of feels like we're out in the country. I know. We're like sat we down are. on the well, table. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is in London. <laughs> we're getting ready for the day, but I said that I would let Tarn pick my outfit. Now I do have a pile in here of things to put in an autumn haul. Holy cow. <laughs> So if you see anything here that you think looks great, am I allowed great, to pick from this pile? You're allowed to pick from this pile. I'm not going to show them the pile because then that's giving away like all my new clothes. Okay. But you can pick from there if you like. This is my current outfit. Oh look, this would be a cute place for my video. I really like this. Where's and this look, from? and I have like these shoes. These are very autumny. Zara, and they have this one, this navy really one. Nice. They've already seen these jumpers because I've been obsessed with them. I already worn them. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. It's nice, isn't I it? I just looked down at my arm <laughs> and I was like, this is my pet peeve. And me, I hate it. I have to wear vests, vests under this. Yeah. I think these that must be- That one has be, a higher neck. These must be in this season. Red. Because I've, I've, oh, sorry, I feel That's like I'm okay. bending your toe backwards. <laughs> I feel like um, I really want one and I'm on the hunt for the perfect one. I actually found the perfect one the other day with my mum, but I was, I just thought, I don't need another jump and I convinced myself not to buy it, but now I wish I had. I love this. this Isn't is it gorgeous. nice? If this is the same one they brought out last year, I've got this in black. Oh, really? And I bought it for my sister in this colour. It's nice, isn't I it? I love this. Little velvet skirt. Yeah, that's really nice. Maybe, Maybe with, with this color. burger top, because I love this. Yeah, that's really cute. Like burger nips. <laughs> um, yeah, think I, that think, in that? I think that would be really nice with tights and then, yeah, boots. So good for walking. Yeah. Comfy and then what boots. about a cardigan instead of it so you can see, still I don't see? Have many cardigans. This is what you need. I like know. the one I had on yesterday. That kind of thing. If not, you can wear mine if you want. Mine will go nicely. Yeah, that's true. But it's really oversized. Tan's picked me an outfit. I'm gonna go and put it on now. And While the I'll boys play with sword balls. Look. Yes. Let's go. This is us just looking at our makeup in the good light. I definitely dry shampoo the cuff that way. I like your hair like that. We've both got the same lip colour on today, I love it. Did you keep this one on? Mm -hmm. It's the one. M Cosmetics Matte Lip yeah. in the shade. Are you going to do a bit of dry shampoo? I'm going to do a hair tutorial. <laughs> so I just woke up and then I got the dry shampoo. Put it in. Do you find having shorter hair so much easier to maintain? Um, or not. I've been short for ages, so yeah, in general, but now that it's really short, it can look a bit like I'm oh, I love the smell of that. Like yeah, this is super <sighs> nice. There we go. Oh, I love it. Hair done. Isn't your it good? Your makeup looks so nice. So does yours. <laughs> and I, I love like, how we're both just checking each other out right we, were, we were both like, we're not really going to wear makeup today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we started like just chatting and then we were like, oh. Oh, we've done, we've done our whole face now. The boys, whilst we've been doing this, yeah, we'll look at that. are... Oh, you can't see. Can you see? Oh, oh hang on. God, Jim. Is Jim in it? Jim's just got out. They're in a Zorb ball. This is also the lip colour we have on. Oh, it's, French it Nude very comfortable. by M Cosmetics. It feels really comfortable on the lips. It does. It does, it feels very comfortable on the lips. This is how I styled Zoe today. I said I wanted her hair to be up and messy. 
Um, and she did her own makeup. I'm not gonna claim that I like <laughs> told her what to do. I basically copied her makeup today, apart from if it on liner as well. Um, but your makeup looks gorge. Thank you. Um, the burger tee, which I just thought was really fun, and I always love a t shirt. I just think they can make anything just look easy and casual yeah. and effortless. I like how um, baggy this is, this t shirt. I like yeah. that the sleeves come down quite low. I really like that. And even you could do like one turn up on them if you wanted yeah. to. This is Go from Zara. You look really good actually. Thank and you. then this little mini skirt is like a, it's like a velvety, it's not, Velvet. when they called like mole something trousers that like our dads would wear when we were little. Mole trousers. Mole, I'm sure my dad used to call them mole trousers. <laughs> Where is this from? H&M. H&M. And tights and she's gonna wear little black flat Do you boots. think my tights are too dark? I personally won't wear tights that dark. I feel like it clashes with my skirt a bit. You, it's fine for today, but in general, I th I'll tell you what tights to get. Like 10 denier. Yeah, denier. I get I get 10s. Yeah, I think I have some 10s. Oh, really? Mm, maybe I don't. I need to buy some. That's my outfit. Oh, Nala's putting a cow's ear on my foot. That's the finishing touch. <laughs> that's for my shoes yeah. and then I'm gonna wear your cardigan <laughs> oh yeah I've said to Zoe I think she should wear like my big oversized cardigan because you want to keep it casual suspiciously quiet out here look at our little shadow oh we're so cute <laughs> what are you doing no. I'm not having a go we're, I want to watch you do it I really want you to get in I've it can you wear it again I had a really intense ride oh, oh. <laughs> oh where back. Back this is like a professional zorb ball yeah, I know. I'm a bit worried for our ch for our future children, Alfie. If this is the gadgets that he buys for himself. It's so hot. It's a greenhouse. Oh it? my god! Right, I right. just Someone's know. Get Someone's gonna get on the bottom. Oh, yeah. I'll send it. Oh my goodness! I can't cope with this. No, I'm gonna go stratospheric. I think it's fine, mate. Uh, just so you know. Let's go backwards. Oh there my god! Ready? Oh my god, I'm not. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember, you think like a ball, okay? Be one with the ball. Think like a ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that just looks terrifying. How do I get in there? You just got to throw, throw yourself free. Get yourself in that hole. No, no. Nope. That's a weird way to do it. Head first. That's it. You got it. You got it. Crawl yourself. Crawl in. Crawl in. Right. <coughs> get Velcro around. You don't need all three. Oh, I don't like it. All right, so spin round. It's spin fine. Round. Your feet go in those little pockets. No, turn, turn around. around. 180. Your feet go in here. Through those and into the little pocket. There you go. So you'll be fine. I promise you. Do you want to hold my? Do you, can you hold my iPhone with one hand and record yourself? <laughs> Well, you, you want to do it afterwards? I promise, look. I'm right up your skirt. I'm here the whole time, sort of pushing <laughs> against that. You're going to go over the top now. You ready? Tiny, you're next. No. Go, go, go. It's fine. You're going slowly, Zoe. Look. Look how slow you're going. Oh my god! No, it's fine. It's fine. Look. <laughs> look. Oh my god. Look. It's, it's fine. Look. Oh. Now go back the other way. Go backwards. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Look. That's it. That's it. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> That's it. You like Look. it? That's you like it? Um, you need to go a little bit faster and then you really enjoy it. <laughs> Look, watch. Look, we'll just hold you upside down. Yeah. No, 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 don't hold me upside down. No, it's funny. Your feet go here. Joe's going to fall on me and I'm going to no, die. No, 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 Do you think Joe should have his phone? Wait, no, no, sorry. Your head goes oh. the same side. <laughs> your head goes the same side as Joe's. So your head, head here. I'm bloody warm, mate. Oh, well, I'm pass, just hanging upside down. Will you pass me my camera afterwards? <laughs> Joe! Yeah, look, hurry up. Okay. Here for my breakfast, come back up. <laughs> Imagine so if we're up on you now. Okay, okay. There you go, that's better. Um, I just hate how hot it is in here. I'm not going to lie. 
Oh my god, it's so Last hot one. in there. Yeah, it's like a greenhouse. Are you guys ready? This you is ready? the funniest I've ever seen you suck. Look. Look. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Hello. Are you ready? No, no, I'm ready? not. I'm not. Ready? Just really slowly. Really slowly. Oh, oh that's better. Joy. I can feel the blood back in oh my head. Oh my gosh. Why are our heads <laughs> touching? Oh yeah, we can't bash heads. Make sure you really sit in the feet bit. There we go. No, I'm not in the feet bit. Uh, oh, ow, ow. No. Put your hands out first, like crawl out. Hands out, oh, yeah, head yeah. first. Eee. I did it. <laughs> there you go. Nice. The time's going. Oh, look. Yeah. Whilst the boys are downstairs eating ice pops and trying to chill out, I thought it would be a nice time for me to sneak away and to tell you about an app that I've actually been using and loving now for around two years. And they contacted me recently and I was more than happy to work with them on this because it's something that I already use and already love and already want to um, show you guys because it's amazing. Um, it's an app called Clue and I already know that a lot of you use it and I honestly recommend this to everybody I know. I made Poppy get it. Um, I actually have her as a friend on it so we can track each other's periods which sounds crazy but it's so useful and if you don't believe me there you go um i'm sure she doesn't mind me saying this but i actually made her uh come on because that's what happens with females you hang around a lot you're in sync and that's exactly what happened if you don't know what clue is it is an app to track your menstrual cycle but not just that um, it also tells you the days that you are most fertile and you can track your moods, your sleep patterns, your skin. So I've actually been filling this in and very detailed for a very long time and honestly I love it. I don't just love it because it can like remind you when you're due on and uh, it kind of explains things also but I really like that it traces the different patterns. So when I'm feeling particularly emotional or stressed, I will put that in as like PMS. And then it kind of contains all that information and will then tell you like, you're going to be PMSing next week. Or with my headaches, so yesterday, I knew my headache was related to my period because whenever I come on, I always have really, really awful headaches. And sometimes I'll be like, why have I got such bad headache? Is it that I haven't drunk enough? Like, have I been staring at a screen for too long today? Do I need to go and get my eyes checked? And I can literally look at my phone and be like, nope, because I track headaches the first couple of days or the day before my period every single month. And then it kind of reminds me and it makes complete sense. Um, so for any of you that uh, track, want to track your period, but also it predicts your next one, or you just like, being able to track things like that, like the amount of sleep you have and how much that can like differ during the month and all those all those insightful details. I really, really like it for that. And also the more things you track, the more accurate um, their predictions can be for your next period. So if we look at my last one, because we're all friends here, <laughs> you will see if I touch this, open. I tracked at the start 
heavy. This was my pain, so I've got cramps and a headache. See, headache every time, and I always forget. I tracked my emotion as sensitive. Um, sleep as six to nine hours. My sleep never really varies. My energy was low. My mental state was distracted. And you can pick which ones you want. So if some of them don't apply to you, then you don't have to have them. But I already use this app. And so uh, being able to tell you about it was an absolute no-brainer because I love it and I recommend it to absolutely everybody. I wish I'd had this when I was younger because I would get so worried and be like, why, why is my period not starting? I don't know, I've forgotten when it's supposed to start. Um, and if I'd had this app the whole time, I think it would have taught me a lot and it would have made more sense. And I don't know, I just really, really like it. I use it every month. So if you like the sound of that and you also think it might be good for you, then you can download the app for free from the App Store and also Google Play. And I will leave a link in the description box so you can go on over and click that and download it. Let's see if the boys have cooled down. We're going to the garden centre now. Why are you sat on the floor? Charging the phone. <laughs> oh, you look like you're... Oh, Joe's got a book signing today. Yeah. Is it in Waterstones or WH Smith? It's, I think it's in Waterstones, but it, it's after the shop closes, so it starts at five. Ah. Oh. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's the last one. Well, not the last oh. tour, the last... The last book tour, but the, not the last stop in the book tour. I still got Edinburgh and Liverpool to go. I love Edinburgh and Liverpool. No, I mean, Two of my favourite cities. That's why I made sure I went. <gasps> You'll love them. Yeah, Do you I get any time to actually look around? Hopefully. <laughs> not too sure. <laughs> For any of you that don't know, Joe's book, Aww. Username Uprising. You've got a personalised one on the way. I'm very excited about that. Is available now. Well done, Joseph. Thank you. Very proud of you. Sisterly love. It's apparently got a really, everyone says it's got a really shocking ending to it as well. Pardon? Everyone says it's got a really shocking ending to it as well. Has it? Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah. I'm excited. Shock of an ending. I'm very excited. Where's Tanya Bear gone? She's outside on the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make you jump? Yes. Oh my god, is that a little turtle? It's a terrible, not a turtle. Oh my god, it's tiny. That is the cutest I thing I've ever it. seen. Is that a turtle? Yeah, look at it. Oh. Oh, is it swimming? Oh. Oh. oh my god, it looks like it's just learned to swim like yesterday. Oh, it will bite you though. Look, he's got, he's got moss on his shell. They're so cute. We are now in the garden centre, which is why we look like we're underwater. <laughs> they are really cute. Musk turtles. Lifespan 20 years. Look at him. Look at him. He's cute. He is. So cute. Hi. He looks up so old. Look his old wrinkly neck. Yeah, he's got a really yeah, wrinkled just... little neck. Hello, mate. We're hiding. We actually weren't hiding. We were just shopping for trees, and then the boys were like, Where, Where are, are you? you? I was like, We're outside. Come and find us. Also, how beautiful is that tree? Oh my god. Yeah, it's called it's, the autumn. Is it always spire. that colour or is it just that colour because it's autumn? <gasps> Good awesome. autumn colour. Amazing. Fruitful wild. I love this. Where could I plant that? <laughs> Why haven't they found us yet? I know, we're not even hiding. We're literally just, we're just like standing, standing by here. the trees. Joe's off. I'm off, I'm going. I'm off to sign some books. Good luck. Thank you very much. Have fun. I hope signing. the people of Brighton treat you well. I will do. See you later. So Joe has come back with us. We just said goodbye to him. Don't look because they're not wrapped up, okay? okay. So I'm bringing them down. It was Joe's yeah. birthday a while ago and I haven't seen him since, so I've got his presents here. Haven't had the time to wrap them, but I'm giving them to him quickly. Where are you? Down here. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on the sofa so you can see them. Come here. Okay, I'm walking the right way. No, this way. Okay, and... Open! Oh my god! I got you these. No, I don't, wait, let me just get my brain around this. Act of insanity, part of game for crazy people. It sounds me. fun, because look... Grow my is... own Venus flytrap! Yeah, that's Amazing. what reminded me in the garden centre. I was a like... Create a space journal. Yeah, I thought you'd like that. And a bloody... Is this like a new thing? Yeah, so this was on... No. It's a 
wireless. Oh my god. Um, Sega Mega Drive with That's two so things, cool. and then it has like so many games on it. That's Mortal amazing. Kombat. Oh my Sonic. God. Look. You really wanted to play it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Holy shit. Isn't that cool? It's That's like really amazing. easy to set up. Yeah. Legend, thank you so much. That's okay. Cheers, right, I'm off for my signing. Are you gonna take <laughs> this? It made Tana shocked. <laughs> Bye, Joe. Enjoy your signing. Ciao. We are sat watching the first series of Dr. Foster because Han and Jim haven't seen it. So we're watching it, but I forgot how great it was. So I'm really enjoying watching it as well. And we've got Jacket Potatoes. Mmm, mm. it's not a cozy Sunday oh. without Jacket Potato. It's really hot. It is really hot, isn't it? Straight out the oven. And look, got my crispy onions on there. And these guys are trying out crispy oh, onions. Really isn't it good? <laughs> we'll wait for Alfie to come back in, but he's currently dissecting his jacket potato in a way that no other human being does. And then yeah, we're gonna what's, what's he doing? <laughs> he like completely empties it, mushes it all up in a bowl, and has it separate to the skin. I don't, he don't put it no, back he, in the skin. No, he eats no. The skin. He just mushes it up and then eats the skin separately. Yeah, he has his very own special way of eating a jacket Definitely potato. Definitely serious about that. <laughs> yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Lovely to see you. I had such a nice time. Love you. Get home safe. Text me when you get back. Bye Alfie, Bye. nice knowing you. <laughs> Bye. I am going to end this vlog here because I have a feeling this is gonna be one of the longest vlogs ever. And I've had the nicest weekend and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'm now going to go to bed and sleep. Sleep, oh you can only just see you. Hello. Oh God, she's so cute. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you again very, very soon.